Hi, I'm Paolo Tosolini, and today we are going to explore how to create dynamic pop-ups for your virtual tours. When you deal with tours that feature many product hotspots, it can become challenging and time-consuming to update their content on a regular basis. This is because images and text are often hard-coded in the tour. A more efficient way is linking those hotspots to a pop-up template that dynamically pulls data from a separate database. When a product changes, you just update the database without having to touch the virtual tour at all. But how do you do that? As a big fan of no-code tools, I did quite a bit of research of database-driven website builders. Finally, I settled on Bubble. Bubble is a no-code app-building platform designed to help you build software and applications without programming. That doesn't mean that there is no learning curve. Instead, it means that even if you don't know JavaScript, you can still make some cool web apps. Let's do an example and assume that we want to feature three products in our virtual tour. Using Bubble, we set up a database with fields like ID, title, description, image, and a URL that we will associate to a button. Then we design the user interface with fields that we will be dynamically linked to the database. Bubble has the ability to extract parameters from a web URL. This means that to show the pop-up with the Nutella information, we will invoke the Bubble App URL and we will append at the end the parameter associated to the Nutella record. By simply changing the ID number, we will load different records with different content. Now that our dynamic pop-up is ready, let's implement it into our favorite virtual tour apps. Remember, the entire pop-up is now a simple link with a variable parameter. In SickBeak, use the embed hotspot type and just paste the bubble app URL in the embed code field. In 3D Vista, link your hotspot to a pop-up web frame. No special skins are necessary. And this trick works also with Matterport matter tags. In particular, if you use an overlay like MP Embed, which loads the web page in a bigger pop-up called Billboard. And that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this new tutorial and please like this video if you found it useful. Thank you and ciao.